We'll call to order this regular October 20th, 2014 meeting of the Robertson County Commission. We'll call on Pastor Jason Michael of the Mount Sharon Cumberland Presbyterian Church to deliver our invocation. It'll be followed by the Pledge to the Flag. Please stand. If you choose, may we pray. Gracious and merciful God, we thank you that this body has been called by the people to be civil leaders. We know they bear great responsibility and we thank you that they have accepted the task. Thank you for their service to the community. This evening we pray for your guidance for those gathered here. We pray that they may be given eternal wisdom and understanding so that they may do your will, the will of the one who created all things. We pray that they see the world through your eyes and act through your way. We ask you, Lord, that you embolden these women and men to continue seeing your vision of the world, the vision that lifts up the least of these, cares for the poor, watches over the widow, and embraces the orphan and foreigner. God of all good, we pray, too, for the whole community, that, we, that you give your strength to live our lives in accordance with what you would have us do. Help us to sow seeds of love, seeds of joy, seeds of mercy, grace, and peace, for it is to be fruitful, fruitful residents of your kingdom that we most desire. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Prisoners, if you'll press yes and confirm, you will be registered into our machine. Glover still working on his. I want to check his battery, Madam Clerk. There we go. Okay. There being 24 commissioners present, I declare that we do have a quorum. Uh, commissioners, you have the minutes from the September meeting. What's your pleasure? I have a motion by Commissioner Brown, second by Commissioner Baggett, that they be accepted in order to file. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no, so they are approved. Under communications, uh, the County Commission recently received a thank you from uh, Mrs. Bill Haslam, who is in town, who is in Greenbrier recently, uh, in recognition of the County Commission's contributions toward the Robertson County Imagination Library. So a significant appreciation that belongs to, to you all. Thank you for your ongoing support at that point. You also have in your packet uh, a letter from the Comptroller, and uh, the state requires this report on debt obligation, and this particular issue was paid off on uh, August 26, 2014, but it was included in your packet. Early voting ends on October 30th, so if you've not had a chance to early vote, hope that you will do so. I've uh, been asked to announce that the Bump in the Night bash will be on the Courthouse Square on October 25th. That's this, this coming Saturday with all proceeds going to United Way and trick-or-treating on the square Friday, October 31st. Uh, the Lodge Barbecue, Saturday, November 1st. And if you'll see Jody Ballard, she has uh, tickets for those. And the sampler is November 7th and 8th. Uh, for a long time, there have been informal discussions about the net impact of uh, the fees that are charged when an individual builds a home or builds a business, the impact fees. And so after a great deal of deliberation and hoping to represent the cross-section of the community, I have appointed an ad hoc committee whom I will ask to study uh, the impact fees to consider whether or not they should be lowered or remain the same or take their research in any direction that they that they wish. The members of that committee are Commissioners Lanny Adcock and Tommy Baggett, Mr. W.O. Jones, who is Chairman of the Planning Commission, 
Ms. Carol Cordry, Mrs. Gwen Martin, Mrs. Margot Fosnes. And so we will, you will be hearing from the mayor's office sometime in the near future to set a date for a, a meeting where that committee can select a chair and a secretary, and then uh, you will be free to, to research and then hopefully at some point report back to this commission with your findings. Next thing the, the chair has are reports. And the first one that was in the packet is from animal control, which is 7.1. EMS is 7.2. Fire service, 7.3. The trustee's statement of funds is 7.4. The highway commission's report is 7.5. Report from the planning commission is 7.6. Report from the Veteran Service Officer is 7.7. .7. The Inmate Expense Report is 7.8. Solid Waste Department is 7.9. The County's Financial Report is 7.10. And those are the reports the Chair has. What's your pleasure? Have a motion by Commissioner Jackson. They be received in order to file. Is there a second? Second. Second by... Commissioner Gregory, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no, so they are approved. I'm going to recognize now Commissioner Billy Vogel, who is chairman of the nominating committee for, first of all, the adoption of the rules and to approve those committees that were inadvertently left off of the uh, September packet. Commissioner Vogel. Mr. Chairman, Madam Clerk, and uh, fellow commissioners, and ladies and, gen gem ladies and gentlemen, I know some gentlemen here of the audience. Um, first thing we want to do is get our house in order and do the rules, procedure, and regulations. There's 27 of these rules. If you need a copy, Susan's people's got a copy over here. And uh, I need a second on this. Motion, Motion. and a second by uh, Commissioner Baggett. I think it's pretty well you don't want me to read this. It's, it, we've been going through this for years. It's just something we're doing to get our house in order. And uh, unless you all want me to read it. These rules are unchanged from the 2010. Yeah, like one of the rules is we meet the third Monday night of the month. We know that, so anyway. Okay. Right. Commissioner Brown. Yeah, just a question. I noticed, uh, at least on one place on Rule 23, where it looks like there's a change of, like an of and an at. It looks like some of those are in reverse, and it doesn't make sense when you read it the way it's written. Okay. Uh, and so, we may need to clean up that language. <coughs> okay. Which paragraph is it, Mr. Brown? It, paragraph A under Rule 23, mine says vacancy of least seven days instead of vacancy at seven days. It doesn't, there's some, looks like some just language, small language issues. If you read that as it's been corrected, quote unquote. I think we've made those changes in the legislative committee meeting. You did? Mr. Taylor says he thinks that change was made at the legislative committee. This it may, may have been a copy that didn't get yeah. through that process. I think that it's what. So, uh, uh, no, 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 just, just that needs to. Yeah. Stuff like that okay. Okay. We will certainly clean up that language and make it unambiguous. Anything else? Mr. Commissioner Hogan. Mr. Mayor, uh, Bill, there is a correction. We don't meet every third Monday night. There are exceptions. Yeah, yeah, holidays, you're right, Bobby. You're January. pretty sharp now for new commissioner. <laughs> pretty sharp. <laughs> we do have holidays. We're here the exceptions. <laughs> Any questions? You ready to vote? Well, I, I did have a question. Mr. Haley. Um, when we had a commissioner that left our body, and then that put the commission down to 23, if the vote was split 12 to 11, according to these rules and procedures, we would need 13 to vote him. So we're going no, to anything that's at odds with Robert's rules. Robert's rules takes precedent. You know, okay. A majority of 23 is 12. So that that would, you know, that would come first in any instance like that. But that's something else that we. Well, I, I thought that was a, the change also that we were going to put in here that, that we had made that at the legislative meeting too. I wonder if this is. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is not a copy that has not been cleaned up, that we cleaned up. That's what I'm Which we will certainly make it comply with what the commission has already adopted. Why don't, hey, I suggest that uh, we vote on these rules tonight and let these. I'm sorry. Okay, this is, this is the corrected version. Oh, 
We're okay. not trying to put you on the spot. <laughs> Sorry about oh, that. Didn't mean to confuse anyone. Let me go back and read. Commissioner Brown raised the issue about Rule 23. And this was, which uh, letter was it, Commissioner Brown? Okay, which I don't know how that happened, but here's the here's the corrected version right there. Okay. And we have voted on a corrected version. Okay, I've got a corrected we version mm -hmm. about the, the word that Irvin's referring to is probably left out. What about your question? It, it was it was addressed in that. That's what I was getting at, Bill. We what rule is that? Uh, I believe it is. It went under the definition of a quorum. Okay. Read that out so loud, Mr. Haley, so everybody can understand that. Well, let's see, upon the close of the nominations voting for the candidates shall begin a majority vote of 13. The commissioners shall be required to reopen it. Mr. Hogan? It stays the same. Recognize okay. The, 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 the go, regulation stated September the 19th, 2011. Mm -hmm. Is that the corrected one? Mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been changed since then. Okay, I thought you said 2010. Well, the commission that started in 2010. That's what I meant by that. Everybody happy? Mm -hmm. Good. We'll take okay. Steve's words, the legislative committee that has been changed. Okay. If you're in favor of adopting these rules, please vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. Boris, vote for this one. I'm sorry. So all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. no. So they are approved. Commissioner, Commissioner, vote. Okay, we got some committees we need to move on that we left off last month. Finance investment is a, a January committee every year. Uh, of course, we've got two officials on there, be hired Bradley, Kendra Shelton, Faye Stubblefield, Carol Duggar, and Tommy Jackson. Finance management, that comes up on, in September, and it's by the year. Uh, of course, officials are the county mayor and superintendent of schools, supervisor of the highway, and Bill Moore, Robert Farmer, Lanny Hadcock, and Tommy Baggett. Handicap advisory board is um, Arthur Garrison, Reverend Frank Evans, Deborah Justice, Irvin Brown, Bobby Hogan, and and last but not least, the jail. Help me out here. That's a this review this board. Let's just say the review board. Okay. It's appointed by the sheriff, and uh, it's Kenneth Drake, Linda Royer, William Crow, Dora Greer, Jerry Lynn Jones, Nicole Simmons, and Bailey Jones. I have a motion. Is there a second for approval? Second. Second by Commissioner Kaus. All those in favor say aye. Uh, I oppose no, so those people are elected. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to recognize Mrs. Martha Wilkinson, our Director of Planning, for public hearing for planning and zoning. If you are here in the audience to speak in favor of or in opposition to any rezoning resolution, <coughs> at the appropriate time, please state your name for the clerk and you'll have an opportunity to speak. Ms. Martha. Yes, we have four resolutions tonight that have been reviewed by the Planning Commission. The first one is for Mr. Samuel Branham. He is requesting 1.61 acres located on Logan Road, the 12th Civil District. The third voting district have a change of voting from AG2 <coughs> to R40, which is low density residential district. The planning commission's vote was nine to zero for you to resolve. Anyone here to speak to that resolution? Ms. Martha. The second resolution is for Mr. Gordon Tate. He is requesting that 1.03 acres located on Tennessee Highway 25 East, 18th Civil District, the 8th Voting District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to R40. The Planning Commission's vote was 9 to 0 for rezoning. Anyone here to speak to that resolution? Ms. Martha. Third resolution for Mr. Bradley Spain. He is requesting that 1.46 acres located on Jernigan Road, the 15th Civil District, the first voting district, have a change of zoning from AG2 to R40. Planning Commission vote 9 to 0 for you to rezone. Anyone to speak to that resolution? Ms. Martha. 
the fourth and final resolutions for Mr. Justin Head. He is requesting that 109.41 acres located on Tennessee Highway 161, 9th Civil District, the 8th Voting District, have a change of zoning from AG2 to I1, which is the General Industrial District. The County Planning Commission voted 9 to 0 for you to resolve. Anyone to speak to that resolution? Public hearing will close at this time and bring these three under Category A resolutions and one under Category B resolution back to this body for your consideration. What's your pleasure? I'm sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I, is there a motion to consider resolutions one, two, and three under Category A for approval? Motion to approve. Have a motion for approval by Commissioner Adcock and a second by one second that to second the motion S motion by commissioner edcock and second by commissioner couch any discussion if you're in favor of resolutions one two and three under category a please vote yes and confirm if you're opposed vote no and confirm at this time Being 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent, I declare <coughs> resolution approved. The chair would entertain a motion to approve uh, resolution number four under category B. Is there a motion? I have a motion by Commissioner Gregory. Is there a second? A second by Commissioner Bowens. Any discussion? If you're in favor of approving resolution four under category B, please. Vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. There being 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent, I declare that resolution approved. Thank you, Ms. Martha. Now we're ready for new resolutions. We recognize Commissioner Haley for the first two resolutions. Commissioner Steve Haley. Mayor, Madam Clark, esteemed members of the commission. Members of the audience, I bring to you tonight resolution number 10201417. The highway department uh, <clears throat> would like to widen uh, certain portions, or pardon me, the maintenance of certain portions of the road. Um, we'll get a second. Motion and a second by Commissioner Doris. Commissioner this, is simply, oh, pardon. this is simply just. Uh, the county wanting to, um, the main, uh, highway department wanted to remove a portion of the following road from the official county maintenance record on South Old New Cut Road, uh, 0.14 miles, 758 feet. It's just a turnaround in a creek. Ready to vote? Yeah. Question, Commissioner Kaus. So we've been, been maintaining it and it's not being used now or it's never been used or? I'm just asking. Can I, Mr. Hester. Can I blink, ask Mr. Hester to be made a member of the board? Any other questions? That's what we need to know. Ready to vote? Question been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. I mean, 24 votes in favor, none opposed, none absent. I declare that resolution approved. Commissioner Haley. May I bring to us tonight resolution 10201418. It's a resolution by the uh, TDOT to widen of uh, 0431 uh, to Walling Road. Make it a four lane. I have a motion. Is there a second? And a second by Commissioner Jackson. Of course, this is a formality of the TDOT when they go for a project, and this is in. Uh, the funding resolution for 2015 if we uh, if there's any money to fund it so let's hope for the best it's been a long time Keep to come. fingers crossed any questions question. question been called for if you're in favor of this resolution vote yes and confirm if you're opposed vote no and confirm at this time
There being 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent, I declare that resolution approved. Recognize now Commissioner Eden for EMS declaration of uh, surplus property. Commissioner Don Eden, Chairman of the EMS Committee. <coughs> Mayor Bradley, uh, fellow commissioners, uh, members of the audience, uh, I present uh, resolution number 10201414109. And it is for uh, the Robertson County uh, Emergency Management Department to declare a surplus property so they can trade it in a utility drain vehicle. Four before, if I hear a second, I try to answer any questions. I have a motion and a second by Commissioner Couch. Any discussion? This is just second reading on what we did last month, right? Now. Yes. Say the vote. Question. Question has been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. There being 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent, I declare that resolution approved. And recognize Commissioner Baggett to authorize planning and zoning to proceed with property cleanup. Commissioner Baggett, who's a member of this body as well as the Planning Commission. Mayor Bradley, Madam Clerks, members of the County Commission, members of the audience, I have resolution. 1020141110. It's a resolution to authorize planning and zoning department to proceed with <coughs> property cleanup. Whereas Robinson County has previously adopted resolution 08200-7097, being the health and safety standards of residential and non-residential properties, and whereas the county has been engaged in litigation with Helen J. Vance who owns property on Blake Lane in White House, Robinson County, Tennessee, regarding the cleanup of her property. And whereas the Robinson County General Sessions Court has entered an order in case number 11090, providing that the county hearing board may enter into a contract with a third person to clean up said property. With the county being able to file a notice of lien for such out-of-pocket cost, and said county re regulations provide for such contract upon county commission approval. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the county commission meeting in regular session this 20th day of October 2014 that the Robinson County Planning and Zoning Office, together with the Health and Safety Board and all other county entities as necessary are, authori are hereby authorized to take all steps necessary, including contracting with a provide third party for the cleanup of this property and for the collection of such cost in the filing of lien against the property and are authorized to take all such other measures as necessary for this property cleanup effort. Pass this 20th day of October 2014 to be effective on the day of its passage. Have a motion. Is there a second to the motion? And a second by Commissioner Hoover. Any discussion? Ready to vote? Question's been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. Twenty-four votes in favor, none opposed, none absent. I declare that resolution approved. I recognize now Commissioner Glover for the general sessions to declare surplus property. Commissioner Burton Glover. Mr. Mayor, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the county commissioner, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, uh, <clears throat> this is a resolution uh, on behalf of Judge Perry to be allowed to, um, uh, de or declaring sur surplus of three uh, vehicles that are se set out on Exhibit A. Uh, this is resolution number 10201411. I move for the adoption of this resolution. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Couch. Any discussion? 
question. Question's been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. Commissioner Eden, are you still voting? Okay. There being 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent. I declare that resolution approved. Now, for second reading resolutions, I'm going to recognize Commissioner Adcock, Chairman of the Budget Committee, for two budget amendments. Thank you, Mayor Bradley, Madam Clerk, fellow commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. This is resolution 09151409. This is second reading. Uh, I, mo I make a motion we approve. Motion for approval. Is there a second? And second by Commissioner Kaus. Any discussion? Question. Question's been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. <coughs> there have been 24 votes in favor, none opposed, none absent. I declare that resolution approved. Commissioner Adcock. This resolution is 09151410. Uh, it's a balanced budget amendment. It's also a second reading. I make a motion. We approve. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Jackson. Any discussion? Question. Question has been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm. <coughs> Twenty-four votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent. I'm declare that resolution approved. Any old business to come before this body? Seeing none, under new business, uh, an issue came to the, the chair's attention uh, today in regards to E911 dispatch, and I'm going to ask uh, the commission to make Sheriff Holt and County Attorney Richard a member of the body for the purpose of discussing a resolution that will be brought to you under new business. So moved. I have a motion by Commissioner Haley and a second by Commissioner Couch. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. So, Sheriff, if you and the County Attorney would, would come forward, I think you may be able to shed some light on uh, the situation as, as it exists. In fact, Mr. Richard, if you will, if you'll come up, I'm sorry. I think I have it, sir. You have the resolution. I want. Would you like to, Clyde? Would you like to explain prior to the resolution being read, or would you like for her to read the resolution? I'll follow the sheriff up and be glad to answer questions. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask the. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to ask the county attorney if he'll give us a real brief synopsis of the of the purpose of the resolution. Uh, the situation has arisen. We have a long-standing relationship with Greer Communications. They have provided uh, most of the emergency uh, dispatch uh, equipment for several years, very satisfactory. Uh, we're switching from an analog system to a digital system. I'm told the digital system can reach parts of the county that that heretofore, if you had an emergency call, may not be able to get out with the analog system. Uh, the sheriff and all the emergency responders in the county are very proactive with this, very supportive. Uh, what we've come up with is that each county has its own unique combination of how things work in that county. In some counties, the 911 district owns the towers, the big towers of the dispatch, and owns all the radios and equipment. In other counties, there's a mix and match where the 911 district owns part, does not own the other part. Uh, of course, in our county, we have a rather unique arrangement where the responding agencies, whether they're the volunteer fire departments, the smaller cities or the major cities or the sheriff's department, each own their own radios. Uh, and the Springfield and White House and Robertson County own the towers and 911 district kind of runs the show. So you've got three different entities. So we're in the process of this switchover, and it came up in the last day or two that 
the documentation, we had really required the 911 district to sign off on everything when they really weren't the sole entity that needed to be signing off. So we've created a document tonight that would uh, allow Robertson County to give its approval for the Greer people to put their equipment on our Robertson County towers. Springfield owns a tower. They'll approve this tomorrow night. Uh, the 911 district meet board meets in the morning. They will approve their part of this. So we've had to piece it up in order for all the proper people to sign off on the various papers that they needed to. Uh, tonight you'll approve basically the Greer uh, digital program being put on our tower and you'll authorize Mr. Bradley to go ahead and sign any further documents that the 911 district or otherwise may ask him to sign to get this digital transfer accomplished. Any questions for Mr. Richard or Sheriff Holt? Mr. Spears, I think you have the floor if you'd like to present your resolution. I need to make a motion? Yes. And I'll make a motion for approval. Okay. Or do you want me to read it? Uh, we, you can't, everybody's been presented a copy. Everybody knows what we're voting on. Yes. If, if not, we'll be glad to read it. Have a motion by Commissioner yes. Spears, and I need a second, which I have from Commissioner Jackson. Any discussion? Any question? Question's been called for. If you're in favor of this resolution, vote yes and confirm. If you're opposed, vote no and confirm at this time. <clears throat> in 24 votes in favor, none opposed, and none absent, I declare that resolution approved. Also under new business, we have uh, uh, Randy and Owen from Train. They have been working very closely with our building and grounds committee for several months now on a project that the committee knows about and the budget committee knows about, but not every member of the commission does. So I'm going to ask, I will entertain a motion to make these two gentlemen a member of this body for the purpose of explaining what we've done to this point with the booklet that you all have. And Jody, does everybody have that booklet? Everybody have the booklet? Okay. Okay. May have been one left for me. I don't know that. Have a motion to make these two gentlemen members of the body. Have a motion by Commissioner Brown and second by Commissioner Stroud. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed no. So gentlemen, if you'll come forward, you have now joined the Robertson County Commission for the purpose of explaining the relationship <coughs> between train and the, uh, and the county we've done to this point and to answer any questions from the booklet. Mr. Randy Malden. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here tonight. Appreciate the opportunity. As you see in front of you, you have your booklets uh, that can take you through more information probably than what you need to know. But uh, what we've done is our extensive survey of the county buildings and which we have determined there is substantial savings for you. We've presented to the Building and Grounds Committee two different types of projects. One project is a self-funding project that totally pays for itself. All the debt service and everything is totally funded by the savings we found in the utility savings in your county buildings. While we were doing this survey, we came across other items of major importance in your buildings. And that is the full project that you see in here. There's a full project executive summary. Uh, first thing I'd like to take you to is the tab that says ECM matrix. And that will tell you the two. That's about the fourth tab in your booklets. It's a page that has got the green and red and looks like this. Everything you see in green in this is what self-funds in each one of your county buildings. So that means by the savings that we have determined uh, in our survey through an investment grade audit that we've conducted of your buildings, this all funds. The items that you see in red are the other items that are of major importance that were either we found or were brought to our attention as we've gone through these buildings and have identified them. We've looked through, we've seen how different ways this can be funded for you. So these are items that, are, that can't be funded by the savings themselves, but with other capital that can be added to the project, you can fund and you can get these items done in your county buildings. And you can also recognize the, the value of the savings from that and still have that guaranteed by train on an annual basis. Okay. Uh, some of the county commissioners that were had not been 
privy to our previous presentations, this is a project that we go through. We, we guarantee the energy savings for your buildings. This is something the federal government allows you to do, where you can take that savings over a period of time, get this work done now, and recognize that savings over that period of time. We only go 15 years due to life expectancy of equipment. Uh, there's different ways you can go about doing that. You can go less than 15. This is just under 15 years. So it's a solid project financially for your county. Uh, again, we've done presentations to buildings and grounds and your finance committee as well. So they know that where this stands and how this works. Uh, tonight we're here because we understand there might be some questions. There could be some. So I'm here to answer any that you might have. Any questions for Mr. Mulder? About this program, I got it. Mr. Norris. I'm going to start right here. Uh, this is mainly pertaining to uh, heat and air, electrical insulation. What? And I'm sorry, I should have been more specific on that. As you see, this project, and you, you see the word train, yeah. and you recognize, yes, we do make the best heating and air conditioning systems available in the world. Uh, but as you'll also see, you're going to see lighting, lighting controls. BAS stands for Building Automation Systems. There's other items in here. There's water upgrades. There are cooling tower replacements. There's boiler upgrades. Uh, there's windows and doors in this. That's outside of the realm of what we're famously known for, but in the energy services division that we're in, these are things that all can save you money that we can pull in to the project for you. So yes, we are known for HVAC, but it is much more than HVAC that we're doing for your buildings. And one of the things to point your attention to, there's building envelope. No, to the far right, the fourth column from the right okay. for the EMS. That EMS, EMS main is what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Okay. If, I'm, if I'm reading this right, going across your page, there's an X and a number three. It's in the X19 on this page. He's, he's got to go all over. He's, he's stopping here. He needs to go all over. Okay. Full. Yeah. Chair, the chair does not disagree, Commissioner. I think before anything's done there, the EMS committee will review that very closely uh, because we, 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 we've we talked in, in the past about the need to find an alternate site. I, I, I concur. Any other questions about the train program? <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? Mr. Hogan. Mr. Mayor, I, I had the privilege of talking to uh, several of the people that worked for us in the past. I asked for a list, they sent me their best list. Well, it was really a great list. I called several of the people, several of the counties, the county school systems, the county administration office, and I have not been to your building and I haven't been to all the buildings around. But what I have seen from talking to the other counties and other entities they've been working with they are above board of what they've been doing and what they've said they would do. So with that said, I believe that we can feel with confidence that they'll do what they say they can do. Now, I do not know the building structures that we're working with, uh, but, but I do understand talking to the other entities that 
trained as a first class operation. I agree. Other questions or comments for gentlemen from train? Anything else? Commissioner Eden. Well, I'll just make the observation, and, and Commissioner Edcock, I'm sure, will want to add since he's chairman of Building Grounds. I think that as we've used the term, we've got a grocery cart that we are pushing through the aisles right now, considering what we know we have to do that may not necessarily be uh, heavy, heavy net savings in terms of energy efficiency. But we think this would be a great opportunity to lump some projects together that we know that we'll have to do, and then we'll have to do my understanding is a bond issue to accommodate those things, but we'll pay it off from the same time. But would you like to add to that, Commissioner Adcock? That's pretty much the gist of it. What we looked at, we've got some issues at the courthouse with windows and doors that are leaking bad. And most commissioners, if you haven't been there and looked through the building, you need to go. We spent three and a half, four million dollars a few years ago in the roof, uh, but we put a new roof on and new air conditioning and remodeled, and the building's still leaking, but most of the leaks are coming from windows and uh, flashing that goes around the windows. Uh, the windows are self are bad. And so we've got some bids and Joe has those already in. Uh, we're gonna look at those things and, and try to put a number together. And when we do this bond issue, if we can pay the bond issue, which we have some, you know, some bonds that are coming off in the next year or two, we hope to add those issues to that and be able to fund it without raising taxes. That's what we're looking at. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? Okay. We will report back to you. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Right. We appreciate you. your your work. Anything else under old business? Commissioner Edcock, tell us what's coming up on November the eighth at Smiley Holler. All right. Uh, the senior citizen center of Rochester County. Uh, we're doing a benefit. It's uh, called the Concerts of Legends. There's tickets available at, uh, Miss Jody has some tickets and uh, Glenn Smith has some back here. You can get them at the Senior Citizen Center. It's November the 8th. It's gonna be held in Smiley Hollow. Uh, the, show, the show starts at seven, but it's a dinner show, so that it'll be uh, arrival time around five o'clock. So we'd like for everybody to support that if they would. Uh, general admission tickets are $40. Thank you. Come out and see a good show and help the Senior Center. Anything else under old business? I'm going to recognize Commissioner Bowens for the election of notaries, please. I make a motion that the notary list be accepted by or approved by the Roberts County Commission. A motion. Is there a second? <coughs> second by Commissioner Norris. All those in favor say aye. Aye. The chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. And I have that from Commissioner Moore. And second by Commissioner Edcock. All those in favor? Please stand adjourned. <laughs>